So in today's show, the 100th show, we are going to talk about focus. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show, episode 100. Um, I am your host, James Boardman. This is my tired boy. <laughs> and we are sitting in a shelter down on the seafront. If what we're going to talk about resonates with you, then please do let me know. Let me know your thoughts as always. How are we doing? Friday already. Looking forward to obviously the gin, the eggy soldiers. If you're following me on my, um, if you're following me on my uh, vlog, uh, you'll know that it's eggy soldiers time, Belgian bun day, and gin day. All those treats rolled into one. So I want to tell you a story. Um, when I did my sniper training course, and um, we <coughs> went up to do our shooting phase, right? Hopefully you can hear me. The waves are pretty loud in the background. Um, we went up to, to our shooting training and we were doing all of our tests in terms of having to pass the first phase of the course. And on the first week we did long range um, testing, shooting. We did 800, 900 and 1000 and I think 1100 meters on shooting. And I was doing really, really well on the build up. And um, on the lead up to the test, I um, was passing all the way through. And then I did the test and I did the test and I failed. And one of the reasons that I failed was because I wasn't focused. Um, and because I wasn't focused, I wasn't concentrating. And it was one of the first experiences that I had of focus and how important focus was in my career and in my life. Now for me, focus is the difference between being in a zombie mode and being self-conscious or having more conscious about your awareness. Having that, um, if you like, spark of um, uh, self-awareness about what you are doing, what you are thinking, how you are acting, rather than just walking around on automation. Have, another thing is, is, have you ever driven around in a car and then all of a sudden you realise, how the hell did I get here? In fact, how the hell did I not crash the car? Because I don't remember the journey for the last five, ten minutes. And you end up going into that automation mode, right? It's like automated. And it doesn't feel like we're 110% focused. We kind of go into that zombie state. And that's how I went into when I did my test. I was in that zombie state. I wasn't focused. I was very, like, numb to the world. And I think the way that we interpret focus is by actually paying attention to, like, what we are doing. So coming out of that zombie state and being more aware. And I think we do that by practice. Now, it, I think that we have to condition ourselves for focus. I don't think we can naturally be focused for a long period of time. Just like I don't think a three-year-old's attention span lasts much longer than 10 to 12 minutes. But as they get older and they turn into that, their attention span lasts a little longer. And just as we develop, just as our conditioning develops, so does our focus levels. Meaning, the more that we work on ourselves during a morning routine, the more we work on ourselves physically, emotionally and mentally, the more happier we are. I truly believe the more conditioned we are to focus more. So I believe that the less we do, the less focus we become in general, the more active we become, the more focused on our personal development and well-being, the more focused you naturally become. And I do think that personally, and it's a question and it's debatable, that focus could almost be, like other things, a habit that we're either into or we're not. If we're not in the habit of focusing enough, we tend to switch off, we tend to ignore ourselves. When we get into the habit of focusing more, 
then we tend to be on that momentum stream in that habit. And I think practice makes perfect. I think momentum is absolutely key. And I think it's essential when it comes to you trying to improve what you are doing within your life. And I think that this is one of the big areas that I feel for men we need to improve on is focus. But focusing on ourselves first. Because when you start to focus on you first, then you become the priority. Remember the priority pyramid. Everybody gets the best version of you. So when you focus on number one, which is you, you then tend to focus on other things as well. So you then focus more on the kids, the missus, your health, your performance in your business or your job, the quality of um, um, your friendships in terms of reaching out to them, being in contact with them. And it just life seems to be a lot better. So what we're trying to do is achieve that level of focus. Come here, come here, Digby, come here now. What we're trying to achieve is that level of focus to ideally be focusing on ourselves. So we're taking ourselves out of the zombie mode and we're putting ourselves at the top of the priority list by focusing. You know, and that's by consciously working on ourselves over and over and over again. And I think that is what is exactly, okay, exactly what people happens when people lose their way. They lose focus. They lose that level of conditioning mentally, emotionally and physically. Those levels of a self-awareness they dip, they drop, and it's only every now and then that you think, oh God, where am I heading? What am I doing? Where am I? And I think that's what is essentially important when you're improving yourself, all right, guys? So listen, um, I just wanted to let you guys know, come here, is that, um... oh, don't matter, mate, don't worry about it, they're lovely. Um, they, uh, and, and I think what's really important to understand here is that like moving forwards in terms of your focus has to be your number one focus, right? Okay, how can I become more focused from here? What can you do to improve it? How can you pay attention to it more? The last thing that I want to finish with here, guys, is that um, on my last 30 seconds here, is that on Sunday, we are closing the doors to working with anyone for, for a little bit now, for a while. And that is just because we want to uh, focus purely on our mastermind members, all right? So it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a few months before we open up our doors again. Our next program starts on the first of March. If you want to come and work with me before we close the doors for a couple of months, and you want to get on board, I'm offering it still at a cheaper rate till Sunday to come and join the 28 day program. Next week we are putting all of the guys into the preparation week, and they start their five week journey. Okay, if that's if you're into it. If not, you might want to wait till May when we go again all right guys thanks for watching i hope you have a cracking weekend i'd love to know what you think about what we're talking about here on the focus side of things um and i'll catch up with you over the weekend